Hello guys, my name is Lenny and this is my Java extra tutorial for data mining. It's like a special treat for someone. Um, I've been tackling this issue where I needed example data about customers. I need their names or company names and I needed their addresses. I found this site which is uh, common for my country where you can access like different categories of companies and then you can list uh, list companies from that category. Um, from this list you can access the address which is here and the name which is here. That's what I was interested in and this is the app. Um, I'm gonna start by explaining how this works and then in the next part I'm gonna show you how I threw all this out and figure out a much better way. Um, but this is just like the base of it. This is the most important part and I have just built on that. So um, I'm manually sending requests as before. That's gonna uh, end soon but never mind. I'm using proxies. Um, I'm gonna go through that uh, later on. And that's all it does. I'm gonna go through the um, app step by step and show you what it does. Um, I create a new instance of the class. That's not really important. Cookies are not really important as this side doesn't. You don't need to use cookies to access the data I have just accessed. Um, this method is important. It fetches all the customers from those pages. Um, right now it starts on the first page and ends on it. Um, that's because I wanted to try it out without getting banned as they got a security thingy that um, bans you uh, if it seems like you're trying a DOS attack. That's a spam attack. Kinda. Uh, so, um, I have run this app. It uh, processed only one page and only five results from that page. This way I didn't get banned um, and it was faster. Uh, so I can show you the results, but I'm gonna show you the results right after I explain what's going on. Uh, this goes through the pages which you can see on this on this side. It goes step by step through pages and in this example it stops on the first page and then it processes the results here according to certain filter um, that's just the, the source code cut up into pieces which are more useful for me, to me. Yeah, it's like somewhere around here. Never mind, I'm gonna use uh, Firebug which is much better. Basically, I'm saying uh, cut everything what is... yeah cut out this part and connect it to this part to access the this side and then I go well I load all these sites and then I access all of them and process the name and address and whatever else I need um, after that I print the result into a file and I format it with uh, these signs in between, um, which can be used for uh, CSV files uh, loaded up in Excel or into database. Um, one more important thing is that right now I have commented this code to make uh, things go faster, but um, for small volumes of data, it's okay not to hide your IP. For higher volumes of data, you should think about hiding your IP and you should think about 
two things. Uh, you can either go for um, delay after each request, which is slower, but it's safe as it kind of acts like a uh, user is clicking through the site. So there's like a delay after each request. By the way, this is not a good delay for user, for simulating user um, working on the site. Like four seconds is the minimum. Um, usually you need more. But uh, I didn't want to wait. I hate waiting. So I have set up a list of proxies, which I knew that were working. I've tested them out. I got a test class for proxies here. And um, after each request, I'm randomly generating a number. And I'm checking if it's a certain number. Well, all it does is that with certain certain person chance, um, it switches the proxy. So after each request, there's a 25% chance to switch the proxy. And it uh, fetches randomly one of these proxies. That's all it does. It's pretty simple. It works. It's really cool. Um, I have fetched like 2k results already with it. Um, it was for my friend for his work. And the result looks like this. Yeah, that's nice. And oh yeah, one more thing. I wanted to tell you the difference between certain proxies. Um, when you're picking a proxy for your application, you should consider um, that there are three types of proxies. Well, from what I know, um, these are the worst. Transparent proxies doesn't hide anything. They well don't hide anything. They pretty much say, say that they are proxies and you can be traced through them. Don't use them. That's not a good idea um, to hide behind such proxy when data mining. Anonymous proxies are a little bit better. They hide your IP but they don't hide that they are proxies. Um, high anonymous proxies are the best. They hide your IP and they hide the information that they are proxies. Um, this list, especially these, are definitely high anonymous. I'm not sure about this one. Um, but yeah, that's what I wanted. I wanted to be hidden. <laughs> also, um, if you get banned, you really need to start using proxies from the start. Like, make sure you don't start with the from your current IP. Make sure you set up the proxy right before you send the first request. Alright, uh, this is the end of the first part. In the next part, I'm gonna show you how to create um, similar application, much more sophisticated and much better. Um, this code is a mess. I was uh, working fast. I needed the result, those results real fast. And I was like spitting the code. Um, but later on, I have uh, found a framework on it. And wow, it's really cool. And I'm going to show you in the next tutorial.